Tonight, we are at the Granada for Digital Fight Club Cyber. And it's going to be dicey with subjects surrounding AI, security, and managing the new SEC rules. Technology is changing so fast. It's going to be a fun night. Mitch and Bowles with GuidePoint Security. And you are? Genia Cohn, Trace3. And your fight tonight is the first fight, which is AI and the existentialism of it. What is your take? <laughs> My take is that data poisoning is the worst part of AI to a company. And what do you mean by that? Well, I mean that anything that corrupts the AI models is going to have a huge impact on companies and it'll take them down. Oh, and what do you think, Gina? I think he's definitely wrong and it's data loss. And what is the big uh, thing around data loss? Well, every company faces data loss every single day. So not just with AI, but everything cybersecurity related, data loss is the biggest. Howdy, I'm George Finney. I'm the Chief Security Officer for Southern Methodist University here in Dallas. Okay, Southern Methodist, we love that. The question is whether AI is, uh, what, what's, what's the biggest external threat? Um, and it, I, I think it's an awesome question. Uh, you know, they're, they're, AI really accelerates the, the, the learning curve for the bad guys, just like it accelerates the, you know, the good uses as well. Uh, so I'm excited to hear, uh, hear our contestants uh, go at it. John Shin, Managing Director from RSI Security. And you are? Rob Kim, Chief Technology Officer for Presidio. Okay, so you're fight two tonight and you're talking about how to use AI for security. What is your take? I believe that AI should be used to train the minds of cybersecurity professionals and people in the organizations to get to the next level of a cyber defense. And you? Well, I think equal parts innovation, equal parts governance, and so at the end of the day, it's really about how do we make sure we utilize the same tool sets to not only innovate but also protect. IA is changing all the time, so how do you how do you use it when it's changing all the time and, and keep it secure? Well, that's the most beautiful thing about AI. AI is by design, it's autonomous, and it's meant to be changing for the maximum adaptability. So I think that embracing that uh, changing nature of AI is, is one advantage that we have to against the cyber offense. And do you agree with that? To a certain extent I would. I, I think the other way to say it is that with generative AI, specifically transform-based models, you're really talking about multi-use cases and the formation of cognitive services that can learn on itself. And so that's way different from the old AI that we're used to. It's getting a little dicey crazy out there. Okay, so have you guys ever been to Digital Fight Club before? No, I've heard of it before. I watched the Fight Club movie, so I cannot talk about it. <laughs> and what about you? Uh, no, this is a, the first time that I've been involved in anything like this, so a uh, very unique experience. Yeah. Uh, Robbie Malik, I'm the SVP and Global CIO for Box. You're a rep tonight for uh, the security. security. Yeah, yeah. What is your take on it? Uh, it's super important. You better be thinking about it. Uh, I don't know, it's going to be interesting. This is my first time doing this, so uh, I'm excited. I've heard lots of great things. Uh, so I hope you know the fighters are bringing the heat. I'm Todd Nielsen with Worldwide Technology. And you are? Trisha Callahan with Persivity. And your fight tonight surrounds what? Information security versus productivity. What is your take on it? I think that security needs to support the business. And sometimes that means prioritizing productivity. And how about you? My position is that risk needs to trump the productivity, that the security and the risk of the business needs to be controlled first. So doesn't too much security really sort of get in the way of productivity and workflow sometimes? That's my point. What do you think of that? I think that uh, the employees can get in the way of the risk. Oh, it's going to be a good fight tonight. Woo! David Bell with American Airlines. Yep, I'm the CISO. So from a fight perspective, they, uh, they liked my snarkiness last year, so they asked me to come back and, and ref one of the fights. And so you don't know which fight because one of the refs couldn't make it and you're covering it. So are you going to give him hell? Absolutely. Absolutely. It was too funny. Some of the comments, some of the zingers that popped out uh, were definitely memorable. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they have to say tonight. Nancy Free, I'm with uh, Armor Defense. And you are? I'm Tommy Todd with Fremont Solutions Group. Your fight tonight is number four, which is IT and cybersecurity, correct? Yes, measuring ROI and cybersecurity. And what is your take on it? 
Uh, yes, you should do it. Yes, you can do it. And it's very, very important. And how do you measure ROI on cybersecurity? See, I don't think you can. I think it's too complex of a topic to be able to measure effectively. So, uh, and, and therein lies the fight. Right. Have you been to Digital Fight Club before? I have not. No, very excited. How about you? I have not, but I'm very excited as well. I'm Tim Harris, Chief Digital and Information Officer for ATI. For me, it's about, you know, so many CISOs will put this huge risk number on everything they invest in. Hey, if we don't do this, our company's going to shut down, and so we're going to save $5 billion by implementing this, and that's never real. So that'll be my focus. Hi, I'm Greg Young. I'm VP of Cybersecurity with Trend Micro. Oh, Trend Micro, I've heard of that. Hi, I'm Carm Chickalis. I'm the president of CyberChick LLC. And you and Michael go way back, right? Oh, yeah. We go back to, we met in 1983 at West Point. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it, it really is. That's what we have in common. That's something you keep the rest of your life. So it's a common bond. A lot Definitely. of fun. West Point, big deal. Okay, so you're fight five about the new SEC rules. What's your take on it? That it's going to affect CFOs and boards more than it's going to affect the CISOs. Okay, and what about you? Uh, I disagree. I think it's going to affect the CISOs more. Everybody's at risk. Lots of risk to go around, but the CISOs are still at the top of the chopping block. So what's the big change, the top SEC rule change that happened? A uh, big one is the four-day requirement to report when bad things happen with cybersecurity, when they're material events. Is this about security, like, like national security sometimes? Uh, yeah, it can impact uh, national security because our national security uh, organizations rely upon software uh, to get the job done. And so any vulnerabilities to their software or third-party vendors can really be a challenge for the United States and uh, other companies, or other, very, other very important companies in the commercial sector. You guys better get it right, I'll tell you. <laughs> so have you ever done Digital Fight Club before? No, but I'm a big fan. I think it's a great idea. And how about you, Carla? You know, overall, I think it's a good idea. Overall? I, I, yeah. You know, I, I think it's headed in the right direction. Well, that sounds very West Point to me. Okay. Byron Davis, Tenant Healthcare. And you are a uh, ref tonight for the SEC new rules fight, right? I sure am, and I'm very excited about that. Okay, so what are you going to do? Well, I think first and foremost, most people don't know that they're the SEC rules, but in addition to that, we have a whole series of five principles that the SEC enforcement director laid out that really underpins those SEC rules. So I'm going to throw a little zinger in there to the uh, to the fighters, make sure they're on their game and know how to how to react. Yeah. Keep those cyber people like really on their toes. That's right. Yeah. If if we're not on our toes all day long, all night long, we're going to get them on their toes tonight. And somebody's going to come and get you if you're not on your toes, right? That's right, yeah. I mean, we're just, uh, we're just sitting ducks out there if you're not proactive about this stuff. Absolutely.